What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We got another taco diving episode from the last few dives I went on. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get right into the dive. Here's the first taco hole I found, barricaded with plenty rocks. All of these taco holes are shallow water. And here he just came right out the hole. I almost lost him right there. Ended up to be a pretty small one. But just a few yards away, here was another one, a little bit bigger. And if you're wondering why I'm using a fishing pole top to take these taco out, you can pretty much use anything stick like to take these taco out. I just happen to be using one of my broken poles. This hole was a really nice hole, it was all covered up, all different color rocks, got red, purple, orange, white rocks, little pile and he was hiding under, I saw his eye. So I decided to pick the little rocks off with him for it to be easier to take him out. And here's a very, very similar hole, a bunch of pile of rocks. And I can tell this taco is way smaller because the hole's smaller and all the rocks in front of the hole are very small. Once I grabbed him, I knew he was way too small to keep. Taco in Hawaii gotta be at least one pound to keep. So I let him go to let him grow. This next taco was a pretty interesting one. There was nothing in front of his hole, no rocks. I swam past and he turned dark brown, dark ruby color. If he never changed, if he just stayed camouflaged, I probably would have never saw him. And right here guys, this is why carrying a spear is a better idea than carrying the top half of your fishing pole when you go taco diving. Cause right there, that is a sleeping pananu. Who knows what would happen if I had my spear with me. In this clip, I found three empty taco holes all next to each other. I never even found a double taco hole before. 
Out of all the clips in this video, this is the taco hole that gave me the most problems. It was a beautiful hole, I can see it from afar. It had a wall full of red rocks. If I went close, you can see it suction cups. This guy took around 8 minutes to get out. You can see instantly the taco sunk deeper and deeper into the hole and he put rocks out like a wall. There was a white rock stuck in the front for 5 minutes. I couldn't get it out. It was so wedged and it prevented me from poking the taco because he was behind that rock. And finally, I took the wedged white rock out and he was free to poke out. I started poking this taco out, it came out pretty easily and then I grabbed it way too early. When you grab them too early, it goes right back in the hole. You usually want to grab it right when the head starts to pop out. But I re-poked it and it came right back out. This is the last clip of the episode. This was a beautiful ground. There were so much taco holes, but they're all empty until I saw this one coming up. Right here. Can you see him? Yes, that's right. He's still camouflaged in the hole. Most taco. Once they see you, they'll turn dark ruby brown and just give up their spot. But this guy was a little smarter and he stayed camouflaged. But that's no match for the taco eye. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. There'll be much more taco diving videos in the future. And stay tuned for an upcoming episode where me and my friends cook the taco and make some takoyaki. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Mahalo.